Welcome to this episode of Caillou Talks. I am Caillou Ninja, and I am super pumped to get this podcast started. Let's cut to the chase. Today we're going to talk about reaching young minds, being able to get students not only to learn the things that they need in life, but being able to identify those students and have them to see the potential inside themselves. Today we're going to talk about the art of teaching. And who better to talk about that than my own teacher, Mr. B, whose full name is Mr. Bongiorno. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Anyone listening has to have a teacher, someone to teach you the lessons about math, science, language, and more. But our guest today is someone who goes above and beyond just teaching. He aims to reach each student in a powerful way. This ep- episode should be called The Art of Educating because Mr. B, as all of his students call him, has a way to educate students about more than just curriculum. He it educates about life, he gets to know students, he learns about them, and he takes time to understand them. This part is what makes Mr. B special. David Bongiorno, a.k.a. Mr. B, has been teaching, coaching, and working with students since graduating high school in the late 90s. He started as a gymnastics coach and summer camp director, but he always wanted to be back in school. He has three children and has been married for 17 years, born and raised in Danbury, or as we used to call it, D.C. He's been a 100% hatter. He has been in a Connecticut certified teacher for 10 years, and he has been teaching slash coaching since 2000. Wow, that's a lot. Mr. B. Yes. Hello, my good man. How are you? I haven't seen you since Friday because <laughs> you're my time. teacher. It's Saturday. Yeah, yeah, sorry. (laughs) So, I have a question that always bugged me. All right, let's hear it. Why are you bald? That's a fantastic question. Um, But I think it's important that you and, um, you know, anyone with that question understands why people are bald. You see, I'm so smart, right, that my brain kept growing and growing and growing, and so there was no room for hair follicles, so it pushed it all out. So if you ever see anyone who's bald, it really just means they're super intelligent. Did you actually, did you make that, was that actually science or did you actually make that up? I can't say it's science, but um, I I like to roll with it. (laughs) Is it a good answer? Is it great? great. I hope so. I like it. That's why I like you so much. That's what I tell my students because I probably get asked if I'm why I'm bald or a question about being bald 50 times a day. Wow. Not really, but you know, that's an extreme exaggeration, which is? Um, hyperbole. Very good. Yeah, that's why he's been teaching me. So there's also another question. All right. Who's your favorite student? Oh, my gosh. My favorite student of all time? Like this year, this year, like the sixth grade. Oh my sixth goodness! Grade. It, I, it's easier for me to answer who my favorite student of all time is. No, in sixth grade. In sixth grade, I love them all the same. <laughs> You're just a little bit more. Who I love, do you? I, I love all my students the, the same. Someone, but, but someone. Uh, do I, I get know. brownie points? Azat. Uh, you. Uh, what? You get five brownie points. All right, all right, Caillou. It's got to be you. See, anyone, it's everyone in my school, which I'm not going to say, is is watching this. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it, okay? So you can't not believe it. So believe it. But my favorite student of all time? Yeah. Is my daughter, Kesslin. Oh, my. You, you <laughs> bro, you ruined the moment. How dare you, good sir? Okay, got to the chase. So here's another question. When were you, when you were a kid, if you were a kid. All right. What did you want to be when you grew up? (sighs) Well, I definitely did not see myself being a teacher. Um, Mm -hmm. But I always liked being creative. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I think eventually English language arts allows me to write and read a lot of great writing. Obviously. Um, So that's the direction I went in. So you wanted to be a writer? Um, yeah, I enjoyed writing, but you know, 
Did you have a library of books like mine? Did you have like a mini library when you were a kid? I, uh, here, here's a here's a, a sad truth is I really was not into reading at all until, um, I mean, I was definitely didn't want to read in middle middle school or elementary school. So probably like junior and senior year is when I really became interested in reading. But I did not have a really big library. Mm-hmm. Right now, you teach middle school. Yes. ELA. You also teach the eighth grade homeroom. And gym, phys ed. And gym, phys ed. P, P, P. And that's everyone. Three years old all the way up to eighth grade. Yeah. So, but I'm curious. What was middle school like for you? Do you have any problems any bullies? Any teachers that? Any teacher that gave you a hard time? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I was not always the best student. Oh um, my. That that's a surprise. Uh, it's quite the surprise. Cause look at you. I turned out all right, um, but I, it's probably because um, I had great teachers who didn't quit on me, um, and were very patient with me. But I was not always um, the best student until I was in high school. I started to turn it around. But in middle school, uh, I struggled a bit. But I had a lot of um, great teachers who, um, you know, motivated me and pushed me to be my best. So, judging by that, you must have had a pretty... Yeah, yeah, middle school life that was ups had its ups and downs. Yeah, I think middle school's um, a tough time, right? We're finding who we are, um, or we think we're finding who we are. But yeah, we're actually not. I, I, it wasn't all um, fun. I probably had teachers that I didn't really care for, but now when I look back, I know that they all were invested in uh, me. But, yeah, I tried to have fun. What do you do in your free time? Oh, my goodness, my free time. If you have any free time. Well, I do have a lot of free time. Um, I, um, my kids, I was going to say I, I spend a lot of time with my kids, but they'd probably say I need to spend more time with them. Um, when it's nice outside, I love doing yard work. I work in the garden. Um you have a garden? Play outside with the kids. Oh, I have a pretty nice garden. How do you play with the kids? What do you play with? Well, the, really, whatever they tell me, I'm playing for the day. It might be um, a tag or a hide-and-seek. I've got, they're pretty young. One is in fourth grade, one in second grade. Um, and it changes all the time. Maybe they want to do basketball one day. Um, but it's pretty much their world. Whatever they tell me I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. Wow. It's like their children the boss. Well, uh, with limits, right? I try to, I try to be fun. <laughs> like with like, Daddy, what's jumping to a volcano? Well, you know, we're not gonna um, go volcano diving, but I try to. Daddy, let's keep go. Them happy. Let's go shark skiing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> right, you have anything to say to your children if they if they're listening to this? Be good to your dad. Your dad <laughs> loves you very much. <laughs> They're at home right now with their big sister. I hope she's taking good care of them. What a what a speech. What a speech. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, the lessons you have learned. As you know, I'm autistic. I'm in a spectrum. And as your student, I know first firsthand that you have a way of Meeting your students where they are, if you know what I mean. I do. Talk to me about this. Like, how are you so good at children? Well, I, I don't know that I'm good at children. I think that I'm good at um, you, you, plagiarizing. You're great at ch- real children. You, you make us entertained. You make us happy that you're a teacher. Well, that could be maybe because I'm a goofball, right? Yeah, you're, you're or it could be I know another. Yeah, you're secret. straight up a goofball. Zots, zots, you know they go yeah, a long he, way as well. Hey, mom, 
Don't be mad, but sometimes Mr. B gives us dots. They're candy. Wait, are you not supposed to have candy? Mom's in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, if you told him, Dad, if you tell her that, I swear. Well, this is good. Now I know that um, no more zots for Caillou. No, I'm allowed to have candy. I have an entire tub of candy. Oh, okay. Okay, Mr. B. This is a deep, this is a deep question, like the deep one. All right, um, so let me get Are comfortable. Are you ready? I hope so. Are you ready for the deep question, Mr. B? Do you think that you can change the world by being a teacher? Oh my gosh, that is a deep question. Thank you. I've been told I have the questions of a philosopher. I, I, I don't know, man, that's a tough question, Caillou. Um, I don't, do I think I can change the world as a teacher? No. But do you um, think that you can change many people, many children's lives one lesson at a time? I, I think my hope, every day my hope is that um, something I say, that I have one student in the class or one student throughout the day who takes something that I have said or taught and remembers it and passes it along. That That's always been my goal um, because if at least one of them gets something out of it, I'm a happy man. That's beautiful. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> so, who has been your biggest inspiration? If you can name one person anywhere in the world that, that, light, that set that spark of yours on fire, who who did that? Who made Mr. B Mr. B? All right, I, 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 all right. Wow, that's a that that might be tougher than the the deep question. Oh my! Um, oh oh my! That that never happened before. That, that, assisted something that never happened before happened. I said before that I'm I'm good at plagiarizing, and I oh, think that. Okay, quick question: What does plagiarize? When you're when you're copying someone else's work, it's good that you don't know what plagiarizing is. That means well, no, I know that I'm going to do that with work. <laughs> I'm going to do that with work. I'm going to plagiarize work. <laughs> so I think I steal um, a little bit from different people who have had a big impact on my life um, like to me? make it Mr. B. Do I, did I make a big impact when we first met? Any person that I interact with has impacted my life. So, absolutely. Wow. Tell me about your faith as shaped with your teacher career. Well, I think um, we're very lucky um, at our school that faith um, is part of who we are and what we do. And I often tell um, my students that I don't necessarily care about um, the academics as much as I care about um, being a good person and respecting and loving one another and doing what's right. I, I believe uh, academics, the academics will happen, but we have to create an environment that is a good one. And I think our faith and leaning on our faith allows us to do that. Oh my God! Now I know you. I, now I know why you wanted to be a writer. <laughs> oh, so another question. This might be big. All right. Out of everything that you experienced in your life, what was the biggest, most breathtaking, most unforgettable lesson that you have learned so far in your life? Yeah, that all right. Um, man, these are good questions, Caillou. So I think the my greatest lesson in life that I have learned and I preach, don't know how well I practice it, but in life there are no second acts. Mm -hmm. um, F. Scott Fitzgerald. You only get one chance um, to do life. So you have to make sure you're making the right decisions. So you're saying that make, make your decisions count? Absolutely. This is why I like you. This is why I like him, people. <laughs> Assistant, do you know? Do you now know why I like him? <laughs> so, Mr. B. Yes. 
how do you think you can make an impact on some on anyone's life? Like your children, your wife, your family, your friends, your students? I think just by hopefully being a good example. Um, and I hope that's enough, right? All right, I'm back at that spin. Don't barf in the mug. Oh, my When you barf, mug. don't barf in the mug. That causes a fortune. I promise I won't. Banana smoothie or dead fish? Oh, my gosh. That's the worst one. No, no. Stink bug is the worst one. All right. What, looks, which color do I have to get? It's orange see. with uh, red speckles, I think. Oh, man. Is, yep, it, it, has a, is it that one right there? I yeah, think I think so. so. All right. Oh. This one's looking at me. Is so. that or that or peach or barf? All right. All right, here we go. Just the so all, all I have to do is I just have to eat uh, it and don't drink it. the water and don't barf. I was gonna take it like a pill with the water. No, you gotta chew it. Oh my gosh, here we go. I can't yo dead fish. I don't even eat. Go, food. go, go, go. <laughs> what does it taste? Life is good. See? <laughs> Life is good. What does it taste like? What does it taste like? Strawberry. What is it? Strawberry daiquiri? Strawberry banana. Strawberry <laughs> banana. Strawberry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Pomegranate or old brandy is my favorite. Oh, here we go. Um, pomegranate. Oh, lucky guy. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's, let's, um, here we go. Uh, Tootie Fruity, my favorite, or Stinky Socks. Oh, no. Uh, 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 sorry, 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 I think it's... It's like a mixed color when I see it next to Is it this right there? No, no, this it's one? got pink on it. It's, it's got red, yellow. Right next to the toothpaste one, right in the middle between the red one. This? That one. This one, one, one right there. That one. Yeah, that, that one. right there. Yeah. All right. Oh, boy. Stinky Socks. Stinky Socks and Fruit Tootie actually taste, actually taste the same. Two for two, tutti frutti. See? Life is good. I want they the better not give me that stink bug. Birthday cake or dirty dish water? Oh. Uh oh. Here he goes. Dirty dish water. That's not a birthday cake face. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, dirty dish water. Oh, you got it. are surrender. You gotta take it. Oh, I can't believe you're okay, chewing it like that. Oh my decided. goodness. You are braver than I am. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I went. Oh, I gotta go one more time. One more time, Sibby. All right, we can do it. Get, we can do, do, do it. Thing, do thing. There you go. One more All right, one more. Please be good to me. <laughs> oh, does that count? No. That doesn't count? I should have I should have I should have made it count because it was toothpaste too. Man. All right, here we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you step away from the beans. Let him pick. Let him pick. You know that juju on you. That's the only one I didn't. Did the dishwater get stuck? Oh, toasted marshmallow. Stink bug. Is it that one right there? Yep. Oh, please don't be stink bug. Don't barf on the mug. It costs a fortune. <laughs> Please you don't be stupid. Summon your courage. <laughs> so far, the universe has been with you. Ex you <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! And the universe stabbed you in the back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just drink the water. Just drink the water and save yourself. <laughs> Just drink the water oh. and save yourself. Oh my gosh. Drink it. Yes, I win. Oh, but I have, but hold on. Because I don't think that's what a stink bug tastes like. No, no, no stink bug. I've works. never eaten one before. Stink bug. Oh works. my gosh, it's still there. <laughs> I need water. Oh. I need water. I hid my gum in my mouth. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the mints. Mr. B, thank you so much for being here with me on Caillou Talks. Today we're gonna, was a lesson for me. Not just because I had a great teacher on my guest. But it's because it was a great reminder that education really is a powerful weapon. Learning about all the things we need, like math, science, 
history, and writing. Super important. You know what's also important? And maybe more important is the ability to inspire others. Making others feel seen, feel heard, and unlocking their own potential. Maybe a potential they didn't even know they had. Nelson Mandela was right. Education is a powerful weapon, and it can change the world. If everyone in the world had a teacher like Mr. B, they would be smarter, more inspired, and it would be so powerful, it would definitely change the, the world. That's it for now. Thank you for joining me, Kai Ninja, on Kai Talks. <laughs>